here on the golf course with Walter Yamane. And Walter, where are you from? Uh, Hawaii Kai. Hawaii Kai, awesome. How's your golfing going today? Just the usual, bad. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so I have a couple of questions um, to ask you um, to see if you are smarter than a New Hope Christian College student. Do you think that you are? Yes. Yes. All right, we'll see. Is this in the Bible or not? Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. No. You're right. That's correct. Okay, next question. This is a fill in the blanks. It's from Romans 10, 15. How beautiful are the blank of those who bring the good news of good things? How beautiful are the... Angels. <laughs> I'm here with... Ken Silva. And Ken, where are you from? Kaneohe. Kaneohe, woo, K Town. <laughs> All right, so um, how is your golf game going? Fantastic. Poor Curtis's back and legs are tired from carrying me all day. Oh, wow. What a great friend. Um, so, something that we're learning in college right now is cat and dog theology. Are you familiar with that? You mean we're paying tuition for cat and dog theology? I'm here with Russell Luke. Cat and dog theology. Have you ever heard of that? Never did. Okay, so um, you can either be a cat Christian or a dog Christian. Which one would you want to be? Uh, I like dogs. So you'd be a dog Christian? Dog Christian, yes. Is there any other reason why you'd be, want to be a dog Christian? Um, nope, that's it, because I never heard about the dog and cat theology. <laughs> Do you know any good jokes for us? No. I'm here with... Randy Ching. And Randy, where are you from? You hope. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. You sure you really want to say, what do you mean where, where am I from? I'm from Honolulu. So we learned about cat and dog theology. Have you heard about that? No. If you were to choose between a cat Christian or a dog Christian, what would you choose? I don't know what it is, so I can't answer that. Well, if you were to choose one? I don't know. Dog theology, I guess. And, and why is that? I like dogs more than cats. How many books are there in the Bible? There are 66 books in the Bible. Wow, good. And how many in the Old Testament? Oh boy, that's a different one. 44? How many books are there in the Bible? 66. How many in the Old? That I can't remember. Uh, take a guess. 34. 34. So how much would be in the New? 23. 24. Jason Shizuru. And Jason, where are you from? Nuo Poikai. Awesome. Okay. So I'm going to ask you a couple of questions. How many books are there in the Bible? 66. How many are in the Ode? I don't know. Take a guess. 30. And so in the New? 36. Carl, how many books in the New Testament? How many books in the New Testament? Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. Huh? What? He said 30? 33, he said. 33. <laughs> Cut it in half. That's cheating. So we learned about cat and dog theology. Have you ever heard about that? You guys can't be talking about my marriage on the TV. <laughs> hey, students. Aloha. Take it from the Chinese. You need to make sure that your payment is on schedule and your payments are due. Okay, so those of you that haven't paid the fall 2012 those need to be in before you register for the spring 2013, okay? So make sure you're up to speed, you're up to date, and your payments are in. God bless. Pizza with the Prof Friday, November the 2nd, 12 noon, with Larry Ganeron. All right, pay attention. This is a difficult word. Singleness. This is the singleness seminar. Monday, November 5th at 4 p.m. in the Oahu Room. Be there. Hurricane readiness. November is the last month of the Hawaii hurricane season, which is when most hurricanes have historically hit the islands. KGMB has ingredients for a hurricane kit online at hawaiinewsnow.com. Visit the website to find important info on how to prepare yourself 
and what emergency actions to take should a hurricane hit. Also, with the winter swells hitting our islands, the North Shore and many other beaches may have huge waves and strong currents. Be careful in the ocean. Always surf, swim with a buddy. Go to the beaches that have a lifeguard. And always remember that if you're in doubt, no go out. Japan Missions Interest Meeting, November 8, Thursday, 6 to 7 p.m. Not sure, but have a passion to share the gospel in, other, in another country? Come to the first interest meeting. For more information, see Yuzuri. One minute. All right. Okay. All right. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. So cool. So cool. I'm here with uh, New Hope's very own Pastor Wayne Codero. Pastor Wayne, thank you so much for your time. This uh, is wonderful. How are you golfing today? Terrible, but I'm having fun. Oh, that's good. Um, is there anything you want to tell the New Hope Christian College students? Well, I think this is, first of all, a great event because uh, each of you are so worthy of our investment, but we want to encourage every single one of you to press in. This is uh, your run. This is your life. You only get one of these. And so make it count for eternity. Make it count for Jesus. So you go for it. Don't hold anything back. Uh, you go for it with all your heart, and God will reward you. That is great. Do you have any jokes for us? <laughs> jokes on the top of your head? Oh, you got to pay for those. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thank you so much. So cool. So cool. So cool.